bringing you the news and information you need from the people making a difference. This is Comcast Newsmakers. 1.4 million New Jersey residents have no health care. Hello again and thanks for joining us. I'm Jen Boyette and with me today on Newsmakers is State Senator Jeff Van Drew of New Jersey's first legislative district. And of course, we're talking about health care. So nice to have you with us today. It's great to be with you again. Thank you for having me. Sure. Now, is this a high number as compared to years past, 1.4 million in New Jersey? Unfortunately, Jen, the number keeps growing and, and it keeps becoming a worse situation. You know, there's nothing more integral that a, a society should provide than health care for its people. And we have to do it in a way that doesn't hurt our businesses. And we have to do it in a way that provides the same level of health care and quality of health care that people are used to, which means we just shouldn't go out and socialize health care. We've seen that hasn't worked in Europe and in other areas. So we need the American quality. But the bottom line is small businesses can't afford it anymore. Bigger businesses are cutting back health care coverage. And when you don't have health care coverage, what people do is they go to the emergency room, which is the most expensive ineffective way of providing health care because you don't have preventative care, you don't have help for the people before they get sick, and what happens, the hospitals get hurt, and then the state and the federal government has to come in and bail out the hospitals. So we need to look at the whole system. Right. How are you looking at the whole system? What are some of the first things on the agenda that could help? Well, one of the things that we've done in New Jersey, and it was through Senator Vitale and some others as well, is to really say that at least for children, to make sure that family care, New Jersey family care, is extended to all children that are not covered. All children really in the state of New Jersey should have the ability, if they're not covered, if they don't, if their parents don't have the means or for whatever reason, to have health care. Again, it makes health care better for the future. The system is actually, I hate to use the word, but healthier mm -hmm. financially as well. And certainly, again, it's sort of a moral obligation that we have. Um, there's going to be a host of issues. What we need to do is we need NIVE legislation in that would cre create more flexibility to the system so that small businesses would be able to provide what I would call more basic care, you know, more care if you have a profound illness or you have emergency care that you need to have done, you know, that, that really big case. Maybe it won't take care of people with some of the smaller issues, but more and more small businesses and small providers no longer can afford it and are not doing it. So rather than our system getting better, What's actually happening in this country and in this state is that more and more people are uninsured. That's wrong. We need to create more flexibility in the system. We need to make it more cost effective. We need to get people out of the emergency room. We need to insure our children. And we need to ensure that people have choices, which is the second part that I wanted to speak to you about. I have legislation in that I've talked about a good deal for a long time that essentially would allow a willing provider, a doctor that wants to provide health care, for people and is willing to meet the contract obligations of a particular insurer to be able to do so. Right now, some insurance companies exclude doctors from providing health care. Some insurance companies will not allow a doctor or a diagnostic center to provide the health care for the people who are in their insurance company. Right. And doctors don't have a say in that and aren't exactly. necessarily agreeing with it. Exactly. Right? So that's mm -hmm. a bad thing and we really want to change that as well. Mm -hmm. So are the doctors working with you then to help make so, things different? Some of the doctors groups have been very supportive and really trying to help with this. We have issues right here in the state of New Jersey where actually private deals have been struck between a particular provider and the health insurance company. People can no longer go to their diagnostic center or their doctor any longer for the care they're so used to being given. And the worst part of it is the doctor or the provider is even willing to do it at the same price, but he's not part, part of this private negotiation that took place, which is very unfair. Right. So are you getting a lot of support then from other legislators in New we Jersey? We are. I think there is going to be a lot of support on these right. issues. You know, people do believe it is the right of a human being when it comes to health care decisions, their life, that mm -hmm. that decision should be made between the doctor and between the patient. And it shouldn't just always be a decision that's made, you know, by an accountant. Okay. So 50 million people in the United States without yes. health insurance and 1.4 million residents of New Jersey. You got it. Thanks so much for being with us today. Thank you. And thanks for watching. This hour's newsmaker has been State Senator Jeff Van Drew of New Jersey's first legislative district. And I'm Jen Boyette for Newsmakers, seen exclusively on Comcast Cable. <laughs>